Hello friends, welcome back and if you are new to our channel, thank you for stopping by. Well, today I am going to show you a beautiful basket weave pattern and that we are going to crochet. Now, for this pattern we need chains in the multiple of 6 plus 5. So, I will be making a chain of 24 plus 5 that is 29. So, let us begin. Now this pattern can be used in numerous projects. For instance, you can use it for cushion covers. It is going to look wonderful. For baby blankets, for making bags. We just need to be a little innovative. So here I am making a chain of 29. My yarn is a bit coarse. I have taken number 10 hook so here my chain is done I have made 29 now please watch carefully I am going to count the number of chains and I am going to work a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook that's my fourth chain one two three four there I am going to work a double crochet so that's done now into the next chain I am going to work another double crochet followed by a double crochet in the chain next to it again a double crochet in the next chain so this is the sequence for this very first row I am going to work double crochet all across this is a beautiful pattern but very very easy to remember perfect for beginners as well and the texture looks beautiful now see that's done now the first chain of three will also be counted as one double crochet so let us continue with our double crochet till we reach the end so here I am working my double crochets if you are a fresher into crocheting, you can try this. It is very easy to work and it, it works very quickly. The best thing about this particular pattern is that the texture it forms is like as the name suggests a basket weave seems as though it has been weaved so let us continue with our double crochet here I am almost at the end Let us continue with the double crochet and the most important thing about this pattern is we must take chains in the multiple of 6 plus 5 that's my last chain and there I am going to work a double crochet and pull the tail tightly so it gives a neat finish so my very first row is done now I'm going to chain 3 and then turn my work that will also be counted as a double crochet now please watch carefully I am not going to pass my hook through the chain but I'm going to pass it through the post this is the front post front post because I am working from the front side now again I will go around the double crochet of the previous row and bring my hook out that's the post and then I am going to work a double crochet so that's done one two three the first chain of three will also be counted as one double crochet now yarn over I am going to work three double crochet but from the back side of the post see the hook goes from the back side then it is simple just working a double crochet yarn over the hook goes from behind and then 
we work a double crochet the hook goes from the back side of the work towards the front and then again towards the back around the post so this is the back post once the three double crochets are done now we are going to work double crochet from the front side same again yarn over we are going to work from the front post that is See how it is to be done the hook goes inside and the hook comes out from the front side and then it's simple double crochet yarn over again the hook goes around the double crochet and then it is worked this is the front post double crochet three stitches done so now we have to work from the back side again so we will be working three double crochets from the front and three from the back this is we are working from the back post as the first double crochet from the back side we will not be passing a hook through the chains but we will be passing the hook around the double crochets this is the back post double crochet yarn over the hook goes in again the hook goes out then we pull up a loop and then work the double crochet so three back loop double crochet is done now I'm going to work from the front post there it goes we pull up a loop again the front post it goes around the double crochet and then it is worked if, if we watch the video carefully we will understand how the hook enters the enters around the post now working from the back post we'll just pull up a loop and then work a double crochet yarn over the hook goes around the double crochet of the previous row and then we work a simple double crochet this is how it is to be done it is better if you work with a thick yarn yarn over the hook goes around the double crochet from the front side yarn over the hook goes around the double crochet from the front side this is we are working the front post we have to work three at a time three front post double crochets three back post double crochet yarn over now we are going to work from the back post there it goes then we are going to work a double crochet yarn over the hook goes from behind and then we pull up a loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through now the third one is yet to be done from the back post here it goes yarn over pull through and over pull through now we have to work from the front side this is my first double crochet from the front post this is the second one and finally the third one so the second row is also done this is how it looks that's the wrong side now I chain three then we turn our work see look at the weave one upon the other so beautiful the texture is always remember that while starting it is always going to be from the front post so chain of three is also counted as one double crochet after that I am working from the front post or on the front post that's my first uh, sorry second double crochet and this is the third one so counting the chain of three plus two double crochet makes three now from the back side I'm going to work my back post double crochet so here it goes I pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through this is my second back post double crochet and the third if you find it difficult to find or locate the uh, double crochets we just need to pull it a bit so there are my three double crochets where I will be working from the front post that's the first one 
front pose double crochet yarn over the second one and the third front post double crochet so this is the sequence we are going to repeat all across now we are going to work from the back post now there goes my hook that's my first back post double crochet if we pull our work or if we stretch it a little we will uh, understand where we need to work so my third back post double crochet is yet to be done so this is the third one so that's done now the leaves are visible the texture is visible now working from the front post this is the first one it is easy to work from the front post but when we are working in the back post we have to pull our work or stretch our work a little so that we can see the uh, stitches of the previous row properly so that's done see this is how our weaves basket weave pattern is showing now let's pull our work a little and that's the first post where i will be working my back post double crochet then again the hook goes around the double crochet of the previous row that's the second one and this is the third one so it's done see this is how it looks the pattern is very easy to remember yarn over now I'm going to work three front post double crochet that's the first one as I told you front post is very easy to work at the back post is a little bit tough but not very tough also pressures need to be a bit careful let's pull our work there are the three double crochets where we are going to work the back post double crochet that's my first one that's my second one and the third back post finally I've got to work three front post double crochet that's the first one the second one yarn over and the third one after that I'm going to chain three and turn my work Now here I am going to work my front post double crochet and another one because the chain of three is also being counted as a double crochet. Now those are the three uh, double crochets where I am going to work from the back post. That's the first one. That's the second and the third one. We must remember that we have to work three at a time three front post three back post so here i'm working the front post again the first one is worked this is the second one and that's the third front post double crochet And now working the back post double crochet from behind. That's the first one. This is the second one. And the third one. So this is how it is worked. Let us continue working. Three front post and three back post Dancing. 
now we have to work from the back post once a few rows are worked locating the uh, stitches where back post has to be worked also becomes much easier that's my third back post double crochet see look at the texture now those are the three double crochets where I have to work from the front side that is the front post to double crochet that's the first one this is the second and the third one now yarn over we need to work from the back side the back post to double crochet that's the first one working my second back post double crochet and then the third one Now yarn over from the front side I'm going to work three number of front post to double crochet that's the first one the second one and the third one so this is the sequence that we are going to repeat this is the right side this is the sequence that we are going to repeat for our project see how nice it is I hope friends you all will use this particular pattern for your future projects it's going to be beautiful thank you for staying till the end if you have liked the video give a thumbs up share it with your friends and family members if you are new to our channel do consider subscribing and stay tuned for interesting videos so till we meet again it is bye bye for today